All right, everybody, here it is. Here is my uh, homemade electric chicken scalder. All this thing is, uh, I'll show you the internals here in a moment, but 40 quart aluminum turkey cooker pot, right? Come in a package deal with a little propane burner for it. And for years I have used uh, the turkey cooker with a 20 pound propane cylinder to try to heat my water up. I like to keep my water when I'm scalding my Cornish cross chickens about that 160. And what I've discovered is anything below 155, they don't seem to pluck very well. And anything over about 165 degrees and you're starting to cook the skin and the outside of the meat and I, it's just a little bit too hot. Skin's, skin ends up tearing in the uh, plucker. Uh, so I went this route. So all I did in here, just got a hot water heater element and they are meant to screw into your hot water heater. Now, there it is threaded and you can see it down in there. That right there is the uh, is a one inch uh, conduit nut for an electrical uh, conduit. And this plastic box here, I'll talk about that in a moment. In here what you see is the uh, 120 volt, 1440 watt electric uh, hot water heater element and a hot water thermostat. Now what's special about this particular Camco uh, thermostat is it's commercial it allows you to get that water temp up to 180 degrees. Most residential water heater thermostats only go up to 145, I think is the max on them. And so you need one that goes up to the 180 and that is a commercial unit. So I bought everything here uh, from Menards and I just had it shipped or maybe it was Home Depot, I had it shipped to my house. I think for the thermostat, the uh, water heater element, and this six foot electrical cord, I think it was about 35 bucks with shipping. So uh, the pot I had from years ago and this plastic box that I've got everything covering it with is just an old telephone line protector. So your phone company would put one of these on the side of your house and their underground wire terminates in this box and your residential inside wiring begins. So this one was old and in the garbage and I fished it out of there because I thought it would be prime for this project. Just took a a uh, Dremel tool, cut the back out, and then I put a little bit of silicone here uh, because of course it's square and this is just something so the water sheds off and doesn't run down and uh, short anything out there. So the cord, I did run the uh, ground up into uh, the back of that bolt and I actually drilled two holes there and uh, pop riveted the thermostat on and then you'll see that white gunk on top is actually Gorilla Glue. Uh, this thing wanted to lay out and it is a contact sensing so it had to touch the pot and so it was laid out and it wouldn't make contact on there. So I just glued it to it and it gains about, it takes about an hour to go from filling this thing with a garden hose to get up to about 165 degrees, just shy of an hour is what I timed it at. So, uh, like I said, total, you're looking for a, this, this particular thermostat is a Camco, C-A-M-C-O, and the hot water heater element is just a standard hot water heater element. I know dang well my local hardware store sells those, and they do not sell, and even in my bigger city uh, where I have a Home Depot and a uh, Menards, they did not have the commercial uh, thermostats. So that is probably something you'll have to buy online or from a uh, more of a specialty uh, plumbing store. So anyways, folks, this is what I did. Worked, works pretty well.